right, so we're heading to a no heat call. Uh, something about the pilot won't stay lit or something, so we're gonna go see what's going on there and uh, take a look. All right, you guys are in for a treat, especially you young guys that may not have seen this before. So what we have is a gravity furnace and the uh, pilot's out. So ask them like I always do, What's your left or your gas bill usually run a month? And I'm always amazed when they tell me $60, $70. So, which I find amazing because a gravity furnace, no blower on it, sitting there running those kind of bills. It's like, how do you even justify replacing a thing? So, I mean, 20 bucks maybe savings a month. I suppose it could add up over time. If it even that, because these are older folks so they probably keep it pretty warm it's a pretty good size house it's a single story gotta get permission before i can show you anything but we'll uh go down here light it we're gonna see how the pilot looks the um pilot a lot of times gets dirty and it gets weak and uh, my procedure generally is to replace the thermocouple every time and then uh clean the pilot I, uh, I'm gonna grab my little blow gun here. Usually I use my nitrogen, but this one I got a little bit left in the tube yet. So we'll clean the pilot out by blowing it out because the less you take it apart, the better off you're gonna be, less chance of breaking things. Um, so let's go in here and see if I can show you some, some footage of it. I figured people might enjoy kind of seeing this because they don't see these sort of things that often, so. <laughs> Thank goodness, huh? Yeah. Well, some lady who works out there at Ace, she's got one too. Really? Yeah. It's always interesting. So, yeah, that one's closed. They just got natural venting there. Yeah. Yeah, it's, well, you, you know, on some of them, the gas valve was power pile. So basically, they self generated their own voltage and they didn't even have to have electricity. So, oh, really? yep, on the old ones, the really old ones. So, so now you still have to have electricity. Yeah, they got a regular gas valve on there, but I think this you could still run it manually, can't you? No, they they got rid of that. That's kind of a illegal anymore. Yeah, they kind of done got rid of that a long time ago because of the possibilities of it malfunctioning. Yeah. So well, we keep thinking about air. a new furnace with the air conditioner. You know what? Well, it? we can hook you up with that. Not well, a problem. You probably would tell me that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, between the houses. Yeah, they don't take up much room there. Yeah. So it's but all well, right now we're getting along with a one you put in the window. Yeah. And it's getting to the point where I think somebody's getting a little tired of <laughs> doing it. It's nice to not have to mess with it, that's yeah, for certain. Yeah. <laughs> and like I say, if we was gonna do it, we might as well just do the whole thing. Does it go out very often? No. It's never gone out since you put that on there. Really? Okay. Yeah, because it's staying lit, but I, like I said, my usual procedure is to replace it. I'm going to blow out the pilot there and get it cleaned up, and then I'm going to replace that thermocouple. Okay. That's what I think would be your best bet. That way you have less chance of it going back out again. It don't look too dirty at all. It's actually pretty clean looking, but just as precautionary, that's what I'm going to do with it. don't like where that's at, so I'm going to drill that a little bit out so that I can get that centerpiece up there a little higher so that it can be a little more, I'd like about maybe an eighth of an inch higher than what it is. So I'll just drill that out just a little bit slowly. I was able to put the vice grips there to hold it so it don't rip my hand off and was able to get just enough that it lets that top piece through. So it should fit now. There we go. I like that a little bit better. We'll see how that is once uh, we got a flame on it. I just want to hit that probably half inch area. We can look at the instructions, but generally I like to hit a good portion of the top a little bit more. And that screws in there nice and good. So we're going to go ahead and get that back in there. There's an orifice in there, which I blew through that. And I got that all cleaned out. We blew out that main burner there. Ended up blowing any of the dust and stuff that's around the burner. Uh, at the base there, so that any of the air uh, combustion uh, 
any of the air shutter area, which would be traditionally an air shutter. That way uh, you can get the air through that it properly needs. And they said this thing booms a little bit when it kicks on, which is not a real surprise, especially if this isn't a slow opening gas valve. Um, if this comes on in a mad dash rush, that's probably why it booms. Uh, we'll take a look at it. We'll see what we got. He didn't want to hear anything about that. <laughs> Out of there. Well, we'll see how she kicks on. The pilot uh, is a little bit below the burners, which generally is a good place for it unless the flame hits it. So we'll kick it on, see how it runs. Kicked on pretty smooth. Watch and see how it acts when we do the pilot off. See how it kind of pulls on it. Kind of can see that. We'll close that. Do it again. It's kind of be great to see a little better. There we go. Yeah, we pulls a little bit on that, but not bad. And it's a slow opening valve, which is a good thing. So I like the way it comes on. It's really nice and smooth. And then uh, once this thing gets hot, it'll start venting a little bit better. Make sure that the uh, chimney's clear too. Um, that don't help your chimney a lot. You got an empty spot up here that should be closed off. So I'm gonna have to make something up to try to seal that. There's a big old your chimney. It's got a big old hole there at the top. See that? That 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 reduces your draft. That shouldn't be like that. So I'm Maybe going on the side there. Yep, right here. It's probably from an old water heater or something. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm gonna seal that up with some sheet metal. Um, that's about all I got on the truck. Uh, I'm going to inspect it, make sure I can see daylight at the top there too. Make sure it's all clear and open. Yep, you can see daylight plenty good. So that's important to know that you aren't going to get the old sleepy sleep from carbon monoxide poisoning. All right, it's not beautiful, but it's sealed. <laughs> so, it's not beautiful. <laughs> no, it, it'll work. It'll. You figure it's been working for how many years that way? So it'll. Uh, it'll at least uh, help keep any birds from getting in there and stuff like that. Yeah, they they would come down that chimney no problem. Real fine little birds, real skinny. They look like larks with great big tails. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if there's any particular bird that would try to. Sneak down one hole over the other, a but... A couple different years, didn't we? <laughs> we sprayed for gas leaks. No leaks on any of the old pipes, which always is kind of surprising for as old as that you is. You're here, down here. Yeah. Didn't you guys got all kinds of funny things growing on down here. <laughs> yep, it, uh, it's still on, so it must have satisfied. So... I hope it is. <laughs> yep. Well... On one way to find out, and that was to let her run. So there we go. Got that there. 
turn back on. I'm going to say you're probably good to go. We'll try it out and see how it does. If it uh, acts up from there, we'll just have to make some more adjustments on the pilot, but I don't see that as being a reason, so we should be good. Well, you can see the chimney way up there, and uh, that was clear open. And it's not a real big house, so, I mean, it's there all the way to the back, so, you know. Anyhow, that uh, hopefully was entertaining for you guys. It's never seen a gravity furnace before, and uh, it's uh, always amazing that the gas bill is as little as what it is. So uh, they should be good to go. The biggest thing there was probably cleaning the burners out so that they were clean and uh, it won't it light off smooth. And uh, plugging off that chimney definitely didn't hurt anything to get a little bit better draft on it. Uh, if you notice, it had a diverter built into the flue pipe, so that's how that works. And then uh, the front of the furnace also had that flat plate there. Uh, you know, I wanted to make sure I had enough combustion air coming into it, and that was kind of homemade looking, as you noticed. So uh, just another one for the logbooks. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you do what you need to do. And until next time, guys, we'll hit you on the next one.